It's been two years since I reviewed the Brave browser. It's been a long time. And in the meantime, there were a lot of new features and improvements like Brave Search, Brave Talks, etc, etc. So let's get straight into it and talk about the Brave browser. And let's see if it's still the best browser that you can use. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. And before getting to the video, if at any point you want to check out the Brave browser, you can head to the first link in the description below. Although Brave has shut down their creator program and now they don't reward me but still you can use the link if you like I don't know. Starting off with the UI and interface, you can see a huge improvement. From somewhat of a startup browser, now it completely looks like a polished product. Now it is a Chromium based browser. And if you don't know what Chromium is, then let me tell you that it is an open source project and anyone can build their browser off of that. Take it like a bare bone, stripped down version of Google Chrome. So Brave took that and built their browser on top of that and added their steroids or features and privacy. For a new user who is migrating from Google Chrome, it would take like no time to switch as the look and feel of the browser is quite similar. I mean, sometimes I have to double check if I have not accidentally landed on the Chrome. Anyways, when you will open the browser, you will see a couple of things. Up top, we have stats like trackers, ad block, bandwidth saved and time saved. On the left, we have frequently visited websites and on the right, we have our cards like Brave Rewards and Brave Talks and we can customize these however we like. At a glance, we can see how much we made from Brave. I know you are excited about this one, but we will get to this later. Now we can just customize them as we like. Now, if you scroll down, we can see articles. This is more like taken from Firefox, articles you might like. And one more thing you must know is that Brandon Ike, who is the founder of Brave Browser and also the co-founder of Firefox, so which is considered as the one of the most privacy concerned browser. So this suggests that Brave Browser will also perform great in terms of privacy. We will check that out in a moment, but now if we get to, into the settings, you can see there is a lot of stuff going on. First, you have your basic settings like profile, theme and appearance, like you enable this, you get a wide ass, I mean, wide address browser, or you can enable the sidebar. But now here it gets interesting. Here we have pretty advanced features like security and privacy features like shield, social media blocking and security settings. So if you don't know what shield is in Brave, whenever you open a website, you will see this Brave icon on the address bar that indicates the number of trackers and ads blocked. It also tried to establish a HTTPS secure connection. By default, it is on standard. And if you like, you can just ramp up the security by changing the standard mode to aggressive. You can also block scripts cookies and fingerprints. If you want to block social media from other websites, like you see some widgets on the news and blog website, then you can do that from the settings as well. Now you might be thinking, well, that's some tight security. Well, there is still more left. If you go to the privacy and security, you can disable autocomplete searches, store Brave from collecting anonymous data and all that. Talking about the private browsing, Brave has better incognito mode than Chrome. And that's not all. It also has store browsing, which is the best anonymous browsing experience experience that you can have. Now, is it secure as Tor browser itself? Well, I don't think so, but it's there if you need, it can come handy from time to time. I'm pretty sure that you have seen Brave browser ads on the YouTube and maybe that's why you are watching this video and what they heavily advertise is on speed. So let's test it out ourselves. But before that, it would be great of you if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. So let's load a couple of sites in the Google Chrome, Firefox and Brave and see which one is the fastest. In the recent years, Brave has launched a couple of exciting things. First is the Brave Talk. It's a secured way of taking video calls from the Brave browser itself. You can take video calls directly without signing up or doing anything just straight from the browser itself. They say they don't store any data, but only God knows. 
at least better than other video calling apps where you have to sign up. There is no sign up or app download. It's built into the browser. You just need to go to the talk.brave.com or you can start a call from these cards. To join a call, they just need the URL and they can just join in from any browser they like. Best part is there is no time limit on calls, whereas on other apps you have like time limit of 45 minutes. And one thing to note here is that there is a limit of four members in one call. So if you want more, then you have to buy premium. Next is the Brave Search, a search engine by Brave. Like all their product, their motto remains the same private and this is no exception this is their private search engine more like a DuckDuckGo now as soon as you open it it feels like a baby of Google and DuckDuckGo again how private this is there is no evidence but what I think is the best combination is the Brave and DuckDuckGo so that's the best and what I use it's the best you can have anyways you can give it a try if you like last but not least we have crypto wallet Brave has built in crypto wallet to store your assets it is baked into the browser so there is no need to download any app or extension and and not just that, you can also swap coins if you like, and you can also send them from the browser. Now, I don't know how safe it is again, so I'm not taking any chances to store my assets into this wallet, but you can do that if you are so. I mean, courageous. And really all I and you care about is bats, right? Let's talk about that. Crypto journey was a roller coaster ride. Bat went as high as $1.76 and back to ashes. Lucky you if you sold at that price. Anyways. Let's just not talk about our losses. Brave still offers bad tokens in exchange of viewing ads and you can earn significant amount of tokens. As you can see here, it's not a life changing amount, but you can still earn a beer or a cup of coffee for literally not doing anything. Now I have some bad news about their rewarding system. First, if you are in India, you cannot link your Uphold account to Brave. You could do that in the past, but now you can't. So you won't be receiving your bad tokens. If you won't, then you have to find someone who can take bad donation and ask them to give you money. Creators like me can just take tips from Brave users. Like if you go to my channel, you see this option, little icon on the top and you can just Tip me there. You can literally do that now if you like so. Also, Brave gained a lot of popularity from creators like us as we posted reviews about it. So they decided to become a bit more greedy and close their Brave referral program. So now if you download from the link in the description, we creators won't get any kind of rewards, which is very bad. Anyways, it's been years and I've learned how to live like a slave of YouTube. So no worries okay let's not go there but that's it for today that's it the review of the brave browser i think brave is a good browser if you want like a good amount of privacy and security along with like google chrome feel you can definitely try out the brave browser but that's been it for my side i hope you found this video helpful you can definitely give it a try so see if you like it yeah that's it like share subscribe stay safe Bye bye